Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Alex, and today is International Cat Day. So, in honor of that, I had something else in mind initially, but then I remembered. So, I found this old sketch um, that I started doing but never finished of my cat school and decided why not for the 15 minutes practice today I'm gonna try and create a cute cartoonish portrait of him and maybe walk you through it a bit um, maybe share some tips and tricks so this is what we're having now because it's going to be a 15 minutes um, session I'm not gonna draw his entire body maybe I'm just gonna add something else um, it's going to be quick it's going to be pretty minimalist I'm not gonna use a lot of colors but yeah let's start our timer um, now okay let's do this so I been my cat is seven and he was found by my friend in her neighborhood he was sitting under a car he wasn't really he wasn't really into being saved <laughs> initially she struggled a lot with him um, until she pretty much decided okay you know what he doesn't want to be saved let's just that's it I am I'm, I'm giving up and then Lo and behold, he got saved by her neighbor. And I got him seven years ago. He's super cute. He can be a pain in the butt. Because he likes to wake up everyone, obviously, as cats do. <laughs> okay, so here I just added this little thingy, um, like a scarf. He used to have this red uh, scarf with white dots. So I want to add that as well. And now let's go to coloring and we're going to start with the eyes. And now this photo is a bit, you know, um, more darkened. So I'm going to kind of get the color, but then I'm going to brighten it up a bit. His eyes are way more brighter than this, so I'm gonna even add a few highlights. But then again, remember this is a 15 minute portrait, so you're not gonna have a lot of texture, you're not gonna have a lot of detail, but you're kind of just focusing on what makes your subject the subject itself, you know? And in this case, is his eyes like his eyes are the best he's the best to be honest but the focus is going to be more on his eyes and then his <laughs> tiny nose and on his scarf so we're kind of finding focal points because we're not going to be able to do a detailed portrait you know and we're focusing on creating cute, a cute look because this again is a character, it's not um, a portrait, so it's a cartoon-ish thingy. And you can play with the colors, you can have a different type of pink for the nose and a different type of color eye maybe. But if you are doing the portrait of your animal, of your pet, I'm pretty sure you're gonna go for the for its colors. So I'm going to add this. Then I'm taking the same pink I used on the nose. I'm lowering the opacity and I'm gonna get a bigger size brush and I'm coloring the ears area. Okay, and then let's do the same thing on the other ear. And oh, oops, see, because I 
lower the opacity if you go a second time over the brush it's going to do this which is great because we're going to use that to add some shadow okay remember we are using everything we can to make this as intricate as possible in 15 minutes let's see how much time we have 1049 okay now let's add in the fur and he has this like a bang uh, with black I'm not gonna go with a deep black I'm gonna even choose the green and I'm gonna choose a darker green color it's still towards black but it's not okay and we're we amped up the opacity again and we are coloring in his bangs <laughs> section and he has this little area here black and then he has these this side of a bang colored black he's super cute currently I'm trying to help him lose weight he doesn't really want to <laughs> if he if, if it was up to him he would probably eat until he wouldn't be able to move uh, okay now we did that let's move on to this scarf and we're adding and again being a quick portrait we're not even gonna use layers um, maybe if we have the time we're gonna add a separate layer for some shadows and some highlights and maybe but I don't think we're gonna have time uh, for some texture but just color in and I know I'm losing time by coloring this in instead of just filling up but let's see yeah I could do that um, I like the <laughs> I like to color in, it feels like I'm coloring in a book, so yeah, that's what I do. Okay, now, um, we need to color in his fur, which is a white-ish thingy, and we're gonna go for some purplish white. It's, it's not white-white, it's not, you know, it's going to be a bit on a grayish side and then we're gonna add some um, shadows again using this as source okay uh, I mean I guess yeah we've kind of added this to the entire thing but that's okay now we are adding a shadow part and this is going to be linear burn choose this and then lower the opacity and go in and choose a purple color um, not too grayish not too you know I think this you kind of have to check in I'm gonna lower you the opacity even more and now let's add in the shadows and we're going to add a little shadow here a little shadow over his mouth some shadow here okay some shadow here it's not too much it's just so it feels more three-dimensional Again, here we're adding some shadow on the scar. Okay. Okay. And now let's add in. Oh, and I still have to add the shadow here. Okay. Okay, now we still have some time, let's add in some highlights and we're gonna lower the brush and we're gonna add it here, oops, okay, lower the brush even more and 
because this is okay. Mm -hmm. And I like to do this cartoonish thingy where I kind of add a tiny bit of highlight. Okay, I'm gonna add it here as well. Here, 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 even a bit. Here, okay. Okay. Cool stuff. Oh, and I forgot to do the same with the shadow here. I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, and now let's add in some whiskers as well. And I'm gonna lower this brush size. Let's add some dots. These are the points of the whiskers. And just not too many, it's just. You know, okay. And now, how much time do we still have? Four minutes. Oh, we are moving fast. Okay, uh, let's add a background. Why not? Let's add some background, and it's going to be a pink one. I'm gonna select the red and maybe choose a brighter color. I don't like this so much. So, and see how we didn't paint the this part and this is great because it allows you to see that hey you didn't okay so we added this but now I'm gonna go with this color and I'm selecting this as source and I'm filling this up but okay I see what I, what's going on here because my sketch is not fully connected it's doing this thing so we're gonna have to color it in manually this is fast 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 okay and if we have the time we are gonna add the name as well this is something i do in all the portraits i paint being on a canvas, being on denim jackets, I, I do custom denim jackets and I always put in the pet name. So, um, let's create a new layer, okay, and we're gonna go with Scoop, okay, and let's select all the layers that make Swoop. Uh, we got this. Okay. So I think I'm going to change up the, not like this, but this one here. Eh. I don't know what happened here, but it doesn't seem to be working. I don't know what happened. For some reason it didn't color in. So. Okay, I think I like the pink more. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe this. I don't know. Some. Okay, I like this. And because I want to, 
I'm going to add some polka dots. I love polka dots, I always add them, it just makes everything look cute. So, we're going for that. Okay, and one final detail. Let's add in a shadow to scoop. Again, with linear burn. Linear burn, and we are adding it beneath. Okay, and here. Okay. <laughs> and I think this might be it. I'm gonna sign this here. And boy, oh boy, look at that time. We are done. We did this in 15 minutes. Whew, I'm sweating. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you had fun. And I hope you managed to create a portrait of your cat or your friend's cat. And until next time, bye!